Good morning, FlossTube. My name is Laura, and I'd like to welcome you to Stitching by the Shore, my channel all about cross stitch. If you are new, I want to say welcome. Thank you so much for pressing play and giving my channel a try. I hope you like what you see, and you'll hit like and subscribe and hang out with me. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back and commenting and all that good stuff. I really enjoy interacting with you. It's that time of year. We're bringing out a couple of the fall sweaters, so I thought... Uh, I'd get a little seasonal today, and we have Shamrock visiting with us too. All right, before I get started with the cross stitch, I do want to say thank you so much to everybody for all the well wishes. We're getting there, and um, hopefully, hopefully, we will be able to start feeling better soon. Um, but I'll talk about any, any of that later. Okay, let's talk cross stitch. I have one finish. I have a bunch of projects in progress, and then I almost had a start. I almost started one of the Prairie Schooler Santos again yesterday because I love them, and I know how much of you have enjoyed seeing them on that jade fabric, but I decided to pull out one of my older projects just because I really enjoy stitching on them, and I wanted to get some more work done with them. So I didn't go with any new starts, but I do have the finish. This one is, it was almost ready, and so I decided this week I really wanted to make that effort to get the last few stitches in. Silver Creek Samplers, Autumn Harvest. So that's what it looks like. Super cute around, I don't know if it's a candle or a bucket or what it is. And it's a small little piece, but this is because, also because it's an 18 count. That's what we have. Ooh, I match. <laughs> So that's what it looks like finished. This is stitched on an 18 count driftwood tan and that is from To Die For Fabrics. So in the picture that you see from um, the pattern, you don't get to see this whole section. So that's what that looks like there. And then you also don't really get to see the tree in there. Super cute little stitch. I really enjoyed this one. I did change colors and if you go in the description box below, I will talk about that. The orange and the yellow, the called for DMCs, because they do give them DMC alternative, were too pastel -y almost. But I mean, you can see on the original, it's done on a much lighter fabric than what I did. So I actually tried those two um, colors and they really didn't show up nicely and they didn't give the autumn vibe that I was really looking for. I wanted something that was a little bit brighter. So I changed those to make them darker slash brighter, and you'll see that below. And then the only other thing I did, I did with this pumpkin. I, you know, in the, in the called for, it's done in a variegated thread. You know, I pretty much just do all DMCs. So I said what I would do was I took the yellow and the orange that I had used up here, and I took a strand of each and then just stitched the pumpkin. So that's what it looks like there. Otherwise, everything is the same. If I had to redo it again, I would have thought about this brown, not realizing how close it would be. You know, it's obviously here too. But I think because there's so many things around it, it works okay. So I'm happy with the final result. It wasn't enough for me to be pulling things out. Um, but it's super cute. No idea what I would do with it, but uh, I thought it was cute. And Silver Creek is also one of my one of my favorites to stitch. I really do like Hushy charts. So give it a try. Go with whatever fabric you want. Play around with it. Who knows? It might look cute even. I wonder how it would look with the jade, and then you could really pop the colors with the fabrics. You know, the jade I'm talking about that I'm doing for the giveaway this today. Who knows? You know, if you change things around, let me know. I would love to see pictures. And I did have somebody reach out to me and try to send me a picture of Lady Halloween, which you'll see later. And for some reason, it, the attachment didn't come through. So I'm really, really sad because I would have loved to see your version of it. So always feel free to send me pictures you know, through, you know, whether it's, or direct me to your Instagram or whatever, because I would love to see what you're doing with some of the patterns that I'm stitching or talk about. Now the next one is, really my only non-fall piece. Everything else you'll see is autumn slash fall with the Halloween. Uh, oh no, there's a Christmas. Um, but for the most part, you're not gonna get, this is, a, this is a holdover from the summer. And I needed a car piece because we were coming back down here. We did a quick trip up and to Connecticut. 
and coming down, I needed back down to Delaware. I needed to have something that was easy enough to stitch. And this has large chunks of color. So it's really a good one to stitch in the car, I find. And it's called Summer in Nantucket from Plum Street Samplers. Now what's different for me that I'm doing different than what you'll see here is first off, I'm not using this color fabric. Um, but secondly, I'm doing it in two different color fabrics, just as a color experiment to see how one pattern can look differently depending on which uh, kind of base fabric you choose. The one closest to the example would be this one. And this is an 18 count summer storm from To Die For Fabrics. And I really just concentrated on this part. And this guy actually has the whale up here. The other one doesn't. But what I try to do is I try to stitch you know, my goal was this, so I did pieces of it on this color, and then I went to the next color and go back and forth. This way I can really see them as we're going along in progress. So that one is the summer storm, and then this one is gilded, 18 count from Mystic Fabrics. So again, I got all that. I just didn't have time in the end to do the whale. I ran out of time stitching that day. And you know, I like to very often, unless I have a holdover, I wanna finish something, I stitch on something different most days, just to kind of give myself some variety. Um, I could see myself sometimes wanting to stitch on something, but I have so many projects I like that I, I do kind of switch it around. So these are the two colors, and you can see this section right here is newly stitched, and that's what they look like. Really two different, types of vibe, depending on what you're looking for. So when you choose your fabrics, if you'd like to go away from called for, and called for obviously is always great because that's you know the designer's um, ideas or whatever, but if you wanna go away from it, think about what you want to portray as that emotion when you see it. Because different colors will show up different way, differently and it will, of course, make you feel a little different depending on what you see because you think about what's the color um, and what it's, what it's bringing to you. So that's my color experiment so far. I'm really enjoying this one. I'd be done, obviously, if I was just doing it in one, most likely. I mean, there's the whole bottom section yet with all those fish, but so far everything is called for. This whale most likely will have to be changed slightly because it is, this color up here, which in person shows up mostly, but I think I'd like the whale to be a little bit more prominent, so I probably will change that up a bit. I liked this color version of it up here, so I'm not sure I would do that dark, but that is an option. Or I might just go a lighter, uh, lighter bluish grayish kind of scheme. When I get there, I'll let you know. And I always, now, I wasn't always so good about this later. I used to talk about it in the video, but now I really try to make an effort in the description box to, when I know, tell you what I've changed things to. And if I forget, or if it's an older video and I have it written down, I'm happy to share. Just reach out to me, either through Instagram or um, email. And I, I, if I have it written down, I just go back to the notebook and check, because I would, I would, I don't have a problem checking that at all. So feel free, never feel afraid to, to reach out. This one, for a while, it's not gonna look like I've done much, but I've done stuff. It's Kringles, Little House Needleworks. I am changing up Kringles to make it a two-story building as opposed to a three-story. And there we go. That's where it is. So I am knee-deep in Letters, I finished the word Kringles, and now I am doing the part of the sign around it. So I'm getting there, and I did a little bit here. What I'm trying to do is do the entire, where am I? The entire border of the building, and then I'll go and fill in afterwards. So this part will go, I mean, it's easy. Um, it's just a matter of having the time to sit down. You'd be surprised how long that, <laughs> that would take. The hardest part so far I have found is was this roof because there are multiple colors and then when you add the fencing here, it really you really have to pay attention and count. But that's where it is.
it will not be done for Christmas. I can guarantee that. I have been enjoying doing this one, especially now here, because especially if I need something that um, I don't want to have to really count and just kind of mindlessly stitch to get this part done. It's a good one in that sense. But there are other Christmas ones that I would like to get back to. So we'll see. We'll see if that one stays in the rotation for much longer. I don't even know yet. Now this next one I pulled back out again. And I do want to talk about the color changes or the flosses on this one. It's hands on design. Let's talk autumn. So that's what the original looks like. The designer, uh, you know, she does the black, you know, it's chalkboard type of thing. So it's the black fabric. I decided to go in a completely different direction. Now, because of that, I made a lot of extra work for myself. I love this fabric. Sadly, I don't think this fabric dyer is doing it anymore. I have not been able to find her and I've really tried hard. Even she was on Etsy and then I tried all over the internet and I think she just doesn't do it anymore. This is what it is. I'll just do the big piece so I can hold it for a second. This is, what is it called? Let's talk autumn. Let's talk autumn. And it's done on 18 count. Oh, Kringles, by the way, is 18 count Artemis from Be Stitch Me. Great gray. This one is an 18 count Autumn Sunrise from Hand Dyed Happiness. I am really disappointed that she is not doing um, hand dyeing anymore because her, her work is beautiful. I have a few other pieces that I had ordered from her and um, the fabric is nice and sturdy without being stiff and her work is her work was fantastic but sadly she's not doing it anymore if i again if i find i thought phoenix might be close from bestitch me but this is more on the orange tones phoenix is a bit brighter um so if i do find what i think is a really good alternative i'll let you know because i know some of you really liked it on this fabric now because i did it on this fabric a lot of the colors especially of like the leaves for example didn't, I tried the called for, but they didn't look good. So I know I've changed this leaf and this leaf. And then I, I changed, obviously, the leaves up here. And there's pumpkins here. I'll change those. Now, the problem is I didn't write down what I changed it. And I have a whole slew of flosses in the bag because I didn't know what I was going to do. So I grabbed a bunch of things. I have to sit and match. So Sandy, I, I, it's fine that you're asking. I love it that you want to know. I really appreciate it actually that you like my color changes. I, I have to sit down and really like put things up. And the extra problem is, is this green, which I'm using here. And then I kind of messed up and I started to do this green and I'm running out. I only have one length of six strand. I have no idea what color it is. So what I need to do is I need to take that and I need to go, I have all my flosses upstairs. Um, I need to go up there and I almost need to go through all of my greens and figure out what color it is because I don't have enough and there are multiple greens that I still need to do. So I'm a little, a little worried about that, but I will figure it out. Um, all of the other stuff I think is pretty much the same. So I'm not going to have anything underneath in the description yet, but as soon as I can figure out what I did, and I hope I can figure out what I did, I've been so conflicted and I still haven't figured out this color yet. I, I've stitched these leaves multiple times and ripped them out, probably two or three times each color. I almost thought about leaving the leaves off altogether, um, but I decided in the end I liked the full piece the way it looked. So I will, I will get there and I'll figure it out. And it's still an ongoing, what colors am I going to use sort of project. So I'm getting there, but I've made it significantly harder for myself because I didn't write down any information, which is unlike me. Usually, I think because I've changed how many times I've tried those leaves, I didn't want to write something down and have it wrong. And so I said, oh, wait and see, wait and see. And then the project got put away for a while. And now I have no clue. <laughs> This is the one I pulled out yesterday instead of starting one of my new Prairie Schooler Santas because I decided that I wanted to do a little bit more on this one. So it's Betsy's Autumn from Plum Street Samplers. I seem to switch between this one and Cinnamon Stars. They kind of both have the same vibe to me. 
and full piece. Here it is. And I worked on, I'm still working on this area. So I finished, you know, I, I still have to fill in all these windows, but I got those done, all that, and then I started to work on this. This is a slightly different color than that, and that'll show up more as I stitch more. But I thought that was a good place to, to get going with it, and I wanna get that done, and then I don't know if I'd come back here, work down here, kinda of depends on my feel on any given day. Now this is done on an 18 count, Honey Amber by Fabrics by Stephanie. It's the exact same color I'm using for Cinnamon Stars. So the two of them will have the same base fabric. Always a fun one. I've seen lots of people stitch Cinnamon Stars. Not so many that stitch this one, but it really is quite a lovely pattern if you're looking, if you really like Cinnamon Stars and you'd like another one that was kind of along that vibe. There's that one. Okay, I have two more pieces. I um, didn't always get a lot accomplished on my pieces, but I did touch a bunch. Yesterday, for example, for Betsy, I didn't have a ton of stitching time, but I did want to get some in, so I gave it a little bit. This next one is my digital pattern from Autumn Lane Stitchery, and it's Autumn Town. So that's what it looks like. I have the PDF, so, and I print things in black and white, so I wanted to show you on the iPad how pretty that is. And this was, this was also a car stitch. I figured I would work on the top, the sky, while I was in the car because that was just a good same color, no changing anything kind of stitch. So that's what it looks like. So really, I just kept plugging away here and then you know some clouds and worked on the clouds. I was so tempted. I had about a little bit of extra time left to stitch once we were up in Connecticut. Not a much, not much. And I was so tempted maybe to try something down here just to kind of jazz it up. But I said, nope, just keep going here. I don't know how much farther it goes over, but I would like to get that done and then just kind of work my way down. So, and again, while it's in the, the sky, there's a lot of sky up there, if you'll see. But that's just a good thing to stitch once I had the outline of the cloud which is what I was trying to do so I'd know what would be blue um kind of again a non-thinking kind of stitch this is 18 count fallen leaf from to die for fabric so it is it is not as I have the jade right here it's a little bit different than the jade see that's the tone of the jade that's this one this one's definitely greener this one um has kind of a darker tone to it but that's this. And in the uh, actual design, they do recommend, I can't remember what it is they're called for, but they do recommend you stitch it on a, a type of green and then um, that part's not stitched. I did see it once on, somebody had on one of the Facebook groups, cross-stitching Facebook groups, had done it on a bright yellow. And it was in your face, but it was beautiful. It, they did a stellar job on it. So you could go in another direction with this if you wanted to. And I briefly thought about that, but I had this green and I really liked it, so I decided to keep it going with this. So that's Autumn Town, Autumn Lane Stitchery. And so far I'm using all the called for DMC conversions. They do use other things besides just DMC. So that's that. And then my last but not least is the hashtag Lady Halloween Sale, Sale, Sal. SAL, stitch along, uh, that uh, Gail Phillips and others have jumped on board with me when I said I really wanted to stitch this, anyone else want to? Um, and here we go. So this is an 18 count smoky amethyst from To Die For Fabrics. I have quite a few from her uh, this week. And I do, um, I do list many of the fabric, um, links down below. So if you go past almost near the bottom of the description box, there are a list of some of my favorites. And if, if I use a fabric from not one of those, I do link it somehow or other. So there is a way to see it. Isn't this, called, this such a pretty design? I wanted to do some sort of purple. I have seen it done on some other shades that are gorgeous. And I have seen it, Gail herself is doing it monochromatic. I 
thought about that, but then I said, let's try it with the, the it's charted in three colors. And I decided to try it with that and I'm liking it. It's a little bit more work, takes a little longer, but we are completely done now here with this. Come down here. I was debating on coming back up here. There's a, that's the body of a spider. There's a lot of back stitching right there and I keep kind of figuring out, do I want to do that now or wait? So then I keep stitching something else instead. I did change, and it will be in the description, this, that's the lighter color. I changed that because the, the called for DMC for that literally melted right into the color of the fabric. You couldn't see it at all. This one in some spots, you kind of have to, in person you can see it better. On the, on the screen, it, sometimes it doesn't show up as much, but um, it, it's a nice contrast. It's still gray. I know it looks kind of white there. It's still on the gray shades and I will list down below what I exchanged, what it is and what I exchanged it from. So I, you know me, I am, I am not the world's best Instagrammer. I'm not a good social media person as it is. I check things out, but, um, it's more just curiosity wise. Um, I always say I'm gonna get better about posting and then I just never, never seem to. But there is a hashtag, it's hashtag Lady Halloween S-A-L and you can see other people's versions and what they're doing on it with it. And um, if you're doing this, jump on, put the hashtag on so we can see what you're doing. It's another fun stitch. I do not know if this is a physical pattern. I got it as a di digital from the actual Jardin Privé website. And I had this below. So that's what it'll ultimately look like. And I'm up here in this top corner. Can't wait to get to her. But that's where I am. So that's it. That was this week's stitching. I got a lot done. Plans? Well, these are all seasonal. I definitely want to keep up with Lady Halloween. Um, if she won't be done before Halloween, that's for sure. Given that we're already on, what, October 15th? But uh, I'll keep going with her because I do like the variety and the look of it. Um, other than that, nothing else is close to finish. So I'll just pick and choose from these, from other uh, pieces that I am currently working on. I do want to start maybe some Christmas pieces just for the kind of Christmas vibe. And I am tempted to start another uh, of the Prairie Schooler Santas. So we'll see. I don't, I don't know where I'm going on that. Um, too many things I like to stitch and just not enough time to stitch them all. So we'll see. Plans are a mystery as usual. Happy mail. I am so grateful for some wonderful happy mail. Now, depending on where I am, you can send it to either address. I just may not get it right away. Um, so it's not that I'm not, um, I'm not thanking you. It's just, it depends on if it's being held with my mail. So I promise when I get to whichever place I'm in and I see it, I will, I'm just so grateful. This card is from Jennifer and it's a handmade card. Oh, and I can see hand stamped by Darlene. Super cute, a thank you card. I love, this is a fun, um, if you make your own cards, this is a fabulous design and you can plug and choose anything. You know, this pattern paper and then, you know, a little bit of ribbon and plop something, whether it's a picture or words. Um, sometimes I dry emboss this layer, but it's such a fun um, actual layout design. One of my favorites. And of course, I love the blue. Love, love the blue. One of my, you know, one of my favorite colors. So thank you so much. I really appreciated that and the lovely note. And then I got a couple of uh, lovely cards asking me how I was doing and hoping I was well. See this super cute bear from Linda. Thank you, Linda. I have got, so I have not organized it in the least. Upstairs, there's a little extra section. That's where I'm gonna put my kind of cross-stitching crafting supplies so that it's, you know, kind of hidden in a way and not out. I just don't know how I'm organizing it and what's coming where. But I did get kind of some cube sections from Ikea, which Mo put together for me. And I wanna have cards up on top. So these are all going up top so I can see them all the time. And then this last one, which is gorgeous, is from Cindy. Look at how pretty that is. 
Oh, I want to be here walking out, look, going towards the lighthouse. <laughs> that is so pretty. Thank you so much, Cindy, for the card and your words. I really appreciated it. So I cannot wait to have those go up um, where I can see them every time I go to my cross stitch area. Now, shopping. I have a little bit of shopping, um, mostly fabric of the month. <laughs> and uh, one back ordered. This was a back ordered chart. I had ordered from 123 Stitch and I had ordered back when they were in the process of moving from one state to the other, from somewhere, I don't remember where they started, to Texas. I think now they're completely in Texas, you know, and all their stuff, their inventory, that's the word, is there, but this must have been en route at the time when I placed an order, so it came in late and it's really packed tightly in the plastic, so I'm just gonna keep it in there because this, this plastic piece fits just exactly this size pattern. Satsuma Street, who's there? I love Stitching Owls, I love Satsuma, I love her colors. That's a fabulous um, shade, and I could see doing it in that. You could also, again, do it in a green, kind of like an outdoor type of thing, and those colors would pop on that too. So we'll see, but it really does look nice on the orange if I wanted to go that route. So that was the chart that I picked up. Look at all those color changes, but they look so cute. <laughs> Satsuma, she does like her color, which I love. I love doing. Then I got um, fabric of the months. Again, stuff was waiting for me. Um, so I don't know if some of these are still en route to anybody. I will give you, I'll tell you what it is uh, so that there is no spoiler. Um, in case you want to look away. This first one is from Mystic Fabrics and it's the October 2021. Now Misty sends early, but unless you're international and have combined shipments, you may not want to see it. Um, I picked up a different fabric of the month and as much as I love Misty's, I've been doing hers for a while now, so I may take a pause on that. So I don't know if I'll have any more coming after this one, but um, it's a good one to... <laughs> quite beautiful in the different colors. It is called Hello Beautiful actually, and it's an 18 count. So if you don't wanna see, look away. And that's what it looks like. And as usual, this variation is not as strong. Cause I know sometimes I always look at it and I say, gosh, what in the world am I gonna stitch on that? That it would, it would show up on all of that. But in person, these variations are usually much more subtle. And I would always tell you if it was as strong as it looks on the camera, just so you'd know. But multiple colors and shades, and you know, obviously depending on what part of the fabric you wanted to use, you could get a completely different look, which is always kind of cool. So if you had smaller pieces that you wanted to stitch on it, uh, one more look before I tell people. If you had smaller pieces you wanted to stitch on it, it you could almost change the color look of it. All right, that one is, is down, so if you wanna look back. So that was October 2021 from Mystic Fabrics. Now the next one is my new fabric of the month that I picked up, and it's from Under the Sea Fabrics. I guess Leslie doesn't necessarily open it up very often. She opened it up, I think it was in August, and I jumped on it because I bought a few of her fabrics and I really was impressed with them. I loved it. And I always would see, she'd put, show the colors from Fabric of the Months and they were always so pretty. And I think at the end of the, was it the end of the year last year? It might've been. She then kind of opened it up that you could buy some of those colors. I don't know. I, you know, I'm only a couple years back to cross stitching. So all of these, most of these dyers, have been around since before I um, got back. So a lot of you would know how they work better than I do, but um, I decided to jump on it and give this one a try, um, which meant then obviously I was gonna drop one because I can only keep so, so many. But I thought, you know, I would give her hers a try. And this is, I believe it's October, because it came this month, so it's October under the sea fabrics, and I get the 18 count Ada. Okay, it's called Val Valkyrie, Valkyrie. Um, and if you don't wanna see, look away. Super pretty. Again, variation is more subtle in person, but it really is a gorgeous color. And I am looking forward to choosing some patterns on that. I think a lot of things would look good on that. I bet you, don't look back if you haven't seen it yet. 
you know, I was gonna say this might look good, but that won't show up. So um, we'll see. I'll give it an idea or I'll give it some thought. Okay, you can look back. And then the last one that I had received was Color and Cotton, September. So this is the September one. Odds are, again, unless you're international, you probably would have that. But if you don't wanna see, look away. And this is 18 count Ada. And it's just called Special Edition. So I don't know if that just means, yeah, they gave this color a try for the, for the month. But isn't that pretty? That's really nice. Again, lots of options. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. We'll see. I'd be curious too. This might, I don't remember what the butterfly looked like. I wonder if I could use it for this. Although I did like that other color fabric that I talked about last week. But again, special edition, color and cotton, September 2021 fabric of the month. And that's it. Okay, you can look back. Those are, that was my, that was my purchasing. Um, 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 unless it's fabric of the month, I don't think I have anything else coming at the moment. I, I have, I see patterns and I have wish lists. Like I, uh, the latest email or a couple of emails from one, two, three stitch ago, uh, there was a bunch of things that they had just added and I wish list, wish list, wish list, wish list. <laughs> but, um, I have so many things that I want to stitch or am stitching and I, I have stuff upstairs, you know, waiting to be stitched. So I, um, kind of hold off on the patterns until I really decide, oh, let's splurge. October is my birthday month, so I may splurge and get some for my birthday, but uh, we'll see. That's it for the stitching. Okay, giveaways. A lot of you really wanted this jade fabric. So this week's giveaway is a small piece, nice little trial piece of 16 count, picture this plus jade, it's an eight by 12. I'm telling you, this color is so pretty. Really, really nice. And I love, and again, there is a variation, but not quite that strong that you're seeing coming up through. Um, I love the Prairie Schooler Santas on this. Really, really happy that I gave that a try. So, I did. I had a lot of you, a lot of you really wanted to give this fabric a try. And I'm so happy. I'm happy that you were interested in it. So I'm gonna mix this around to make sure I give everybody a fair shot. And, okay, let's separate the pieces as we go. Wait a minute, I dropped them. And the winner is Phyllis Godalis. Good Godalis, good Godalis. Excuse me, Phyllis, for that. So there's your name. Congratulations, Phyllis. If you could please get me your address and you can either send it to the Gmail account or you can DM me on Instagram. I would be happy to send this out to you. And as usual with giveaways, uh, two weeks. You have two weeks to get back to me or I choose another name. Congratulations, Phyllis. All right, so let me put that there. This week's giveaway, I was looking through and last week since we did fabric, I thought this week we'll do floss. And you know what? I'm actually gonna use the jade to use as a backdrop so I can show these to you. I have three thread work over dry, over, over dye over dyed floss, not over dried, <laughs> that I am giving away as a set for this week's giveaway. And let me put them up against the jade so you can see. They're all blues, you know I love my blues. So here we have, you know, heavy navy. I don't know how much variation this one would really have. Then obviously look at the variation in that from extremely light all the way to the dark. And then this one would be a beautiful watercolor if you wanted, I would think, or tons of other things. So those three are the giveaway for this week. And if you would like to be entered into the giveaway to receive these flosses, just use the word blue, B-L-U-E, somewhere in your comment. And I will choose a winner next video. And as usual, I forget half the time to do the rules, but um, please be at least 18 so that I can legally get your address. Please don't say giveaway or free. And I would love it if you're a subscriber. If you um, are private, that's fine. I do not check. I do not qualify that you have to be a public subscriber. I'm going by your word. I believe in, I believe in your word. So um, I'd appreciate that. So there we go. That's next week's giveaway, the word blue, somewhere in the comments. All right, now let me put Phyllis's fabric back here so I can keep track of it, so I have it for and that's the stitching. If uh, 
you want to head out so that you can watch some more other stitching uh, videos. Thank you so much for being here and watching and uh, I really appreciate it. Until next time, uh, enjoy, uh, enjoy your stitching. <laughs> um, so yes, we went up uh, last week, right by the, before the weekend, we went up to Connecticut, picked up Connor. Connor had a four day weekend for the holiday weekend. One of the few, I was shocked. He, he reached out to a lot of his friends and most colleges were not giving a break. Um, I don't know if it's because of um, COVID or, or what, because um, generally I thought they did. Megan had a break, but Megan also has sports, so she couldn't, she could leave campus for about a day and a half, but it really wasn't worth it um, to do so. Uh, so she stayed on campus. Connor came home because he is only a little bit about an hour away from, from us in Connecticut. So it was so nice to see him. He, it's amazing. We haven't seen him probably six, seven weeks. Yeah, probably seven weeks. And uh, it's amazing how much just in that time he's more confident and coming into his own. And uh, it was just so lovely to see. And I'm really, uh, he, he made the right choice for school. He settled in. He's, seems to be doing well in classes. I mean, we're going by their word because they don't tell parents anything, but um, you know, he seems to be doing well with that and he's got friends and he's doing stuff. So that was really nice and uh, very quick. It went by very, very quick. So he's back at school. And then um, I talked about last week, Megan was sick. <sighs> the end of last week, I don't know if it was Friday or Saturday. I don't even remember. No, it was over the weekend because most kids were most kids were off it was probably saturday kids had already left you know it was really only the the fall sports um and any international i suppose uh students that were left on campus so it's, it was a skeleton crew she texted us and she's like now i have this and this i think i have pink eye and blah 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 so we're like okay you've got to go to the walk-in clinic um so she finally did, um, and yes, she had pink eye, and they think it was strep, even though she was coughing. They said they, they, they were pretty sure that was strep as well. So she needlessly suffered for a while before going to get checked out, but she got checked out and prescribed two types of antibiotics uh, for each thing. And once she, uh, once she got that in her, she started to feel better. We talked to her. She had a game on Wednesday. I think we talked to her, I don't remember what day we talked to her before that, but um, she was already starting to feel better getting the antibiotics in. So she needed that medicine. I don't know if she was gonna kick it on her own or she'd be miserable in the meantime until so. So she's on the mend as far as I can tell. They're all kind of just lingering with something, um, whatever the germs happen to be floating around the school. Um, I mean, they're tested like crazy. It's just something weird going around. So anyway, that was uh, her story. So she's, she's doing better there. Um, and uh, we probably will see her hopefully next weekend um, and get a chance to see her then. She has a game on my birthday. So there we go. It'd be a nice birthday present if they win. <laughs> I don't know who they're playing, so I don't know if the, if the chances are better or worse for that. But um, anyway, yes. Yeah, so... Beyond that, thank you so much for all your well wishes. I really appreciate all the um, all of you who reached out, who left comments on the videos, who were thinking of me. Um, it really, really meant a lot. It's nice to know that uh, I have friends out in the stitchy world and who are checking up on me. We are um, through almost all of the tests. There was one that did not come back yet, but I have um, been to different doctors so far and um we're almost at a uh we have we have a general idea we have a general idea and uh, uh, moving forward and it's just a matter of getting myself back feeling good so um once i know for sure i will uh you know i will uh let you know because there's a few things that if you end up feeling such and such i want to make sure you um you can get checked out with these things but um anyway Things are going okay and I'm feeling a little bit livelier. I'm still not sleeping great, but who sleeps great? I remember all of you, half of you saying you don't sleep great either. So we're all in the same boat there. <laughs> um, but you know, hey, I guess that's 
just life at the moment. Um, but other than that, you know, things are things are going well. It is surprisingly warm here. Uh, this is the first kind of fall that I've been down in Delaware, and it is warmer than I expected it to be uh, mid October. Um, I mean, we have nice days up in Connecticut. In fact, there's been a nice long stretch of, of nice days, but even at night it's warmer. So I'm not quite used to that. And the sun's warmer down here. So um, I'm adjusting to a different, slightly different climate um, than, than I'm used to. And, uh, you know, working through that as well. But uh, that's about it. Um, this week, no huge plans. Uh, just plug it along enjoying things, working on getting myself feeling better, and stitching. And I hope you are getting lots of time for stitching, and I hope you're well, and I hope you're all safe, and maybe got a good stitching done in this video here. There's slowly, last week was sh short, this week's a little bit longer. I'll get my feet back under me and comfortable as I move back. You know, you skip one week, and all of a sudden, it's like a whole new, a whole new game starting all over again. <laughs> but, um, yeah, again, Hope everything is going well with you and until next time, happy stitching.